Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog for today. Uh, today's Wednesday, so it's Whisper Wednesday. So I picked out a few posts from Whisper to read. Um, the first one is says generation gap. At 30 years old, maybe you Snapchat once every six months. 18 years old, sitting across from each other, snapping each other, making dumb duck faces. I think that is uh, accurate. Um, being in my 30s, I don't really use Snapchat. I, I don't use it at all. If I did use it, it was probably about once every six months, but I don't really care for the app. Um, I think it's more for a younger crowd than what I'm fitting into. So, um, But this sounds accurate. <clears throat> from how things are today and uh, how kids are with their cell phones and and uh, well teenagers too not just you know kids and everything but um, mostly teenagers just sitting across from each other snapchatting each other when they could just talk to each other um, so I, I thought that was kind of I thought that was kind of uh, accurate so um, these the ones I picked out this this time around aren't really like the ones from last time, um, there's some different ones in here. Um, I don't want it to all be about, you know, because the la last couple ones I did were about, like, um, you know, cheating and stuff like that. Um, well, there's a couple in here that have to do with that, but um, they're short and they're kind of stupid, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them. Um, I did have a hard time coming up with some of them that would be uh, noteworthy to talk about, but... Some just stood out to me as being stupid or whatever, so that was one of the ones I picked. Um, the other one I picked, it's just uh, somebody just put, let's have an affair. So you can already see the caliber of person that uh, is writing this. They don't mind the thought of being a homewrecker. Um, and I believe it's from a guy, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, just that's the kind of stuff that people do these days, you know. Um, they, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of affairs that go on, and I think a lot of it has to do with social media, such as Whisper, um, Whisper and Snapchat and all that, and, and uh, just dating sites in general, just because it's, it's so quick and easy to find somebody, uh, to take somebody else's place, or to go screw around, or whatever, what have you, um, I think that's one of the downsides about dating these days too is people don't really try um, that and they for some reason they just like I guess they like the idea of cheating um, I don't know if it's like because they're getting away with something or if it's just something that for whatever reason is a turn on I don't know but I'm totally against it and I think that this person is a piece of trash so going to the next one we got another girl in here asking for money uh, her post just says let me borrow 20 bucks and um, I replied no <laughs> um, because I'm getting tired of seeing that kind of stuff on there I mean I granted I did say that it wasn't gonna be all this kind of stuff but I saw that and it just bothered me it's just like it's just the same as going around town asking people for for money just just because you can or just because you're a female you are like, oh, can I have some money? Uh, no, you can't. You can't have any money. Get a job and get money the way everyone else does. Um, I mean, th there's a novel idea right there. But um, So the next one is another one of somebody looking for free food. Um, this one says, can, can, someone please, can someone order me food, please? Now, again... It's probably somebody who's entitled and thinks that they can get their way just because, you know, they're, <coughs> because they're whatever. They, they just feel like they're entitled for other people to, like, I don't know, serve them or something like that. Um, but I, I just, seeing stuff like that just ir irritates me. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, I mean, anytime I see stuff like that, I, I have to comment on it. Um, I don't want to be, like, encouraging behavior of, you know, uh, girls trying to use men for money or for food or whatever the case may be. Because uh, I know that there's stories out there that I've heard that that's what, what goes on and, 
you know, people actually brag about that kind of stuff, so they brag about being able to take advantage of somebody who's nice. Um, but then again, you got the guys on the other side who fall for it, so, um, you know, it just, it is what it is, I guess. Um, and this one was from somebody, uh, it's a new user from Tacoma, Washington, it was, who asked that. It looks like they had to make a new profile because they've only got one five chat rating, they're a new, new user. Um, so... The next one is, it just says, need help, F23, and then there's a, a emoticon of a camera, and then a an emoticon of money flying away with wings. So, um, I'm guessing she's insinuating that she'll give you money for, or she'll, you can pay her for money or something. Um, pay her money for her pictures, I'm, I'm saying, I'm trying to say. Um she's in need of help so usually when people put that they need money um, and then the two emoticons is a camera and, and a stack of money so um, looks like she's trying to get some fast cash by selling some of her pictures or something which again is stupid because like I said before you can go online and look and see whatever the heck you want to see online you don't got to pay anything and you got these stupid girls like sending their pictures around like it's like I don't know it's just, to me, it just it, it just bothers me. Um, not like I can do anything about it, but um, part of Whisper Wednesday is to um, talk about these kinds of things and how it's running rampant, especially through that site. Like this, this app, when it, before I started using it, was, or when I started using it a long time ago, um, it was a lot different. Um, now it's like being monitored by the police and other people, so... Um, because there's people on there that sell drugs as well. So, um, I stopped using it for a long time, uh, just because it was kind of something I didn't want to get in involved with, just because it was, like, you couldn't have a normal conversation with somebody off of there, like you used to be able to. Like, I think when I first started using it, like, two years ago, now it's totally different. Well, it's not totally different. There's some things that stayed the same, but, um, there are some differences from then till now um, but it's it's definitely an entertaining app if you're bored um, this person that put need help f23 and the camera emoticon and the money emoticon has 200 rated chats and their, their chat rating is only a 1.8 so they got out of 200 related uh, rated chats they've only got a 1.8 rating so that should be a red flag right there um, that means she got a lot of bad ratings from her conversations. So, um, and it, the last one I picked here is um, the one, it says, I sing songs to my mental illness that make me feel like I can actually fight back and beat it. Now, I think that's great because, you know, that that's, that could be considered like a coping mechanism for, you know, for somebody's mental illness is, is music. It can really uplift your mood and uh, make you feel like you can handle things and, you know, it just puts you in a better place, depending on kind of music you listen to. I mean, if you listen to upbeat kind of music, um, it would help. Um, so I think that's a great idea that that person posted. Um, I try to do something similar. I, I try to uh, just find stuff that's funny to watch on YouTube or something like that. Um, I try to, or I do try to listen to music that's more upbeat too. Um, and when I'm depressed, there's just some songs I can't listen to. I just can't handle it, um, just because of the thoughts that it brings up. But um, that's why I try to steer away from stuff like that and do something like this person says. I don't actually sing or anything like that, but um, I just find it uh, helpful to listen to music that's upbeat and uplifting and. Uh, you know, trying to practice other coping skills, which I've learned through counseling and whatnot. So, um, I know this wasn't the greatest Whisper Wednesday, but like I said, I had a hard time finding uh, posts to talk about that would be interesting. Um, I'm not going to stop doing Whisper Wednesday, it's still part of my blog. Um, but there might be changes coming soon. I've been talking to a friend, um, and there might be uh, some drastic changes coming to my channel soon. I'm not sure when. I gotta talk to my friend more. Um, so I got 
I got that going on. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd just leave it off here with that little tidbit of information. Um, as more develops about my channel, I'll let you guys know. Um, there's, like I said, there's going to be some changes and revamps and, and uh, other things that are going to be happening soon. Just to uh, improve my channel and change things up a bit. Um, so I'm not always just sitting in front of the camera talking. Um, so I think that's it for me for, the, for today for Whisper Wednesday. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't leave a like or if you didn't leave a dislike, that's fine too. Um, I know these don't always go the way that I want them to go. Sometimes I expect more from myself, but they don't turn out so well. But um, it is what it is. And like I said, um, since I'm starting to get more now, um, you know, leave me a comment, uh, leave a like or a dislike if you would so choose. Um, and uh, thank you for watching my video today. Um, that's going to be it for me for now. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.